Tony from the Outsider Channel here, back again. Today we're doing something a little more detail oriented. We're going back to San Diego Oaks today. And this is for the people that maybe have been there for one or once or twice that want to dig in a little bit more. There's more than meets the eye when it comes to going to San Diego Oaks. It feels like a big bike park once you get the hang of it a little bit. It's kind of tightly wound together under a trail system that at first seems confusing, but once you do a lap or two, it comes pretty easy. So without further ado, let's head to Orange, California and let's ride Oaks. One more thing, I always forget like one last thing, I always do this, I know. Anyway, like I said before, this isn't a full trail guide. If you want the full trail guide of all the parking information, where to start, what's the basic overall best lap, what's best route, um, I'll leave the video at the end of this video and in the description below, have at it. Basically, digging in the corners a little bit. The San Diego Oaks showing you some stuff that you might have missed. Sometimes even if you ride the same place for long enough, you don't really see past what you're already riding. So there's some stuff a little bit on the edges. There's a cool trail that I didn't feature last time. Actually, maybe two trails I didn't feature last time that I want to hit today. And just kind of show you around a little bit more. When you come to a place often enough, sometimes it's the little things that go a long way to switch up your ride a little bit. Give you a little bit something to offer, a little bit more incentive, a little bit more motivation to come back to a spot that you may have written a few times to make it feel new again in a way. Refresh it. All right, we're heading up to the opening. Get a little warm up on this guy's always fun. Kind of get your head in it and drop down this guy. As a little refresher, we're gonna be coming down Chutes Ridgeline right there. And the climb up is Chutes to the left of it. Okay, so this time we're gonna go straight all the way up to the top. One more climb. Uh, I don't think that one. Not to do it. Met some rad locals that are gonna do some drops. Maybe do this guy right here, which I haven't done yet. And uh, basically I wanted to show you guys this section. There's like a little mini bike park in the mini bike park, which I think I'm gonna call San Diego Oaks at this point, because it kind of feels like that. There's rollers over there where they're getting ready to go in. And there's uh, drops you can kind of practice on. And you've got a couple smaller guys over here. Well, they're not that small. This one's about a five foot drop. Right here, you kind of practice your bike park skills out in the natural habitats. And then you got a couple options. You can turn back around and do it again, or keep going down a roller over here, or there's another one up here. It's kind of like this, the drops right there. You've got small, medium, big, this one's basically a drop into some loosey-goosey and a quick right-hand turn into the sand trap. But you got options. You can have some uh, you can have some fun up here with the bros. And you just kind of loop back in. Go for another round if you will. And before I forget, you guys know what's coming now. Gotta take it in. Appreciation station. And there's a bunch of you that have been commenting <laughs> that you want a song to go along with the appreciation stations or like a, 
a sound. So I got one for you. Now, Tony, you're sitting on the couch back there. Let's give him a little something that we found. You pooped in the refrigerator and you ate a whole wheel of cheese? Come on, man. You're sitting on the couch over there. I'm out here in the field. Give him something good. I like it. Thanks, dude. We're still at the top, but before we head back down, there's another fun little section up here you can session. Go through the fence. Instead of going left, which we're gonna go in a little bit, head straight over here. You'll notice some uh, single tracky dirt paths straight ahead and just kind of follow it up. And you got a little jump line here. So take a break up here. Come up top, have a little session. For us, we're heading over to the other side. Man, we've got back-to-back -back appreciation stations today. Let's hear it. <laughs> ah, I'm an idiot. All right, we're gonna head down the left side of this guy today. Unlike the first trail guided video I did, we went down Yuka, which goes straight down the center. We're gonna hit this guy. I don't even know if this is named. I just like taking it down. Beware, it's super steep. This is definitely steeper in person. But totally fine, just take your time. I don't usually like doing fire road descents, but today we're taking it. Because it leads to some fun stuff. We're going to bang a left up this single track. Try to maintain your speed. Because this is another section just like the last two. It's fun to come in, have some session time on. Some rollers, from small to big. And it's right in the middle of the oaks, pretty much. So you've got your options from here on what you want to take down. All right, we're gonna do the larger slab on the right. Guys, we're not in Whistler. This is probably a blue slab, I'd say, if I had to rate it. So definitely this section. And the other two sections are good for basically all levels. So if you're a beginner, you can do some rollers right there and then kind of work your way up depending on your confidence level. Just have fun with it. You got one on the left, middle, right, boom, boom, boom. And a little top section too. You can kind of just walk back up and work on your skills. And then we're gonna head right. I usually take a left there and head down Hawk or Grasshopper, but today I'm going to show you Peralta Trail, which is further on the right side. I feel like this is used less than the middle section, but it's pretty fun. If you can get here early in the morning on a weekend or come here during the week, I recommend heading this trail. You're going to have better luck without hikers on it. I'd say this is a, that's a pretty traveled hiker trail. And the, the issue with that is there's some really steep sections in this. so. The hikers, they get scared when you're blasting down on a four-wheel toy. So just be aware of that. I always got to put out that disclaimer. I think because a lot of times I'm out here during the week filming these because it's just better as far as traffic is concerned, trail traffic. If you guys didn't check the first video, there was a huge fire here. Most of you know that. This place was burned black. It's just coming back to life in the last six months or so. But before you couldn't even see the trails, they were just hidden all within the brush and the trees. And right after it, the fire came, it looked like the moon. You could see every trail. It looked like a big maze going in and out of things. It's cool to look at, but sad to see. But you know, fire brings life. 
fun fact of the day. There you go. I don't know who I think I am with these fun facts that I just kind of make up out of thin air. Anyway, this is Peralta Trail. Rocky and, and steep in some sections. So take it slow your first time. This is, the, I think, the second time I've done this trail. So I might as well heed my own advice on this one. Cheese grater right there. Oh, into the bottom cheese as well. And you got a little bit of a climb here. And that leads into the next part of the Peralta Trails downhill. Which, if I remember correctly, is also Sharpie and Rocky. Yep. I'd say this is black, this section. Here we're banging a left, and we're going to traverse along the flat area, and climb up three B's. So we took a left up the three B's, otherwise known as that. Then about halfway up, take a right. We used to come up Bumblebee. You can come up that way as well. And this climb leads to Grasshopper and Hawk. The last video we took Grasshopper down. Today we're taking Hawk. It's a bit shorter, steeper. I'd up it a level from blue to black. I haven't ridden it since the fire, so not really sure what it's gonna look like. We're gonna take Hawk down, and the trail to get back up is called Goat. Goat itself is a blue trail that climbs back up. I had a couple of you guys comment in the last video on how I got from this section back up to Shoots Ridge Line on the top of the ridge, so just wanted to point that out and I'll show you really quick when we get to the bottom. But for now, it's time to get downhilly on uh, Hawk Trail. So Grasshopper is to the right, straight ahead. And Hawk is gonna be on the left-hand side up here. Here we go. Ooh. Lots has changed. Hitting that a little too fast. Basically riding this trail blind right now. It is not same, the same trail. <laughs> Crap. Slow my roll a little bit after that. was tight yeah this is a totally different trail still fun I'd like another go at it but not today oh it's a nice little drop there That was much more gnarly, <laughs> much more gnarly. That was gnarlier than I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna say it's just as much fun though. So from here, like I said, 
We're looking for goat on the left-hand side here. And we're gonna take this guy up, head to the right-hand side. Left-hand side is the downhill. And our descent is waiting for us on the right-hand side. Shoots proper, shoots ridgeline. Still Lucy, needs some more of that rain. Watch out for the wind on those certain days. Gonna drop here on the right. And this drops into the steepest part of shoots. Doubles there. It's a nice little drop in the way back to the car. I saw just scoped out. That's fun. And this is where our time comes to an end, you guys and gals. Thanks again for riding with me today. Thanks for letting me bring your map to life once again. I hope this Santiago Oaks part two, stuff you should know, came in handy. If there's questions, please leave them below. Happy to answer them. Like if you like the video, obviously, and stick around and subscribe because new videos every week. I'm Tony from the Outsider Channel. See you next week.